Hey guys, Vertigo Electric here. Today I'm playing a game called Screamers. This is another free game on Game Jolt. And actually, um, after I played and uploaded uh, that game, uh, Boneyard Ruins, the developer uh, reached out to me and was like, Hey, thanks for playing the game. I made this too. So I thought, sure, I'll try it. Um, apparently this was made first. It's like their first game in Unity from a long time ago. And uh, so, <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's let's do it. Oh, what the heck? So there's a weird little uh, recording box there. Enter the house and find five books. I have zero out of five books. Okay. Let's enter the house. So since this is called Screamers, it's probably gonna be jump scares and screamers, right? Ooh, look at that handprint. It's a fine quality texture here. This is like a I don't know what this is like. What's with the movement? I don't know if you can, it's hard to tell in the video. I guess you could see a little bit. But there's like some major acceleration and deceleration on on the movement. Like I like I skid around like I'm <laughs> Oh man. I feel like I feel like I'm a a, a robot with treads riding around on a slippery surface. That's just weird. Oh, what's that say? Help me. <laughs> what is that texture? This is weird. Okay. <clears throat> uh oh, stairs. Oh, we're in for it now. This game has jump stairs. That was, a, that was dumb. <clears throat> Everything's so slippery. I, f I feel we're due for... for um, if, you, <laughs> if you go on Game Jolt and look at some of the screenshots for this, uh, see some of the... Uh, <laughs> the images are kind of... Uh, interesting. Oops! <laughs> I, was, I was in the middle of a thought. It caught me off guard. That's great. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a thing about what in the world? I'm not reading all that because I can't. Interesting. There's a triketra there, though. I do like the triketra. Um, thing about jump scares is I don't jump scares aren't really like. I don't know. That's not true fear. You know, I mean, it's just being. <laughs> it's just being uh, startled. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's <laughs> okay. okay. Let's let's try, try again. That that was. I only got one book anyway, so there's a one book. <laughs> Oh man, headphone warning for sure. Um, but yeah, getting startled, I don't know, it's, it's kind of different. However, however, there is, there, okay, there's getting startled, which I don't think is like real fear. It's just, I mean, you're just getting, you're startled. You're, it's just an unexpected thing that, you know, and you just have a natural reaction to it. Um, but there's also the apprehension of being startled. There's lots of games that I've... <laughs> it got me. Why is it upside down? Um, the apprehension of being startled. There's some games I've played. Uh, probably the best example is uh, if you go into my v um, videos and you look up... Uh, I played a game on Steam called Mind's Eyes. And, uh, man, these textures... What? <laughs> Everything's all jittery. Um, I played Mind's Eyes, and I actually had to take several breaks because, for whatever reason, I had such apprehension of possible jump scares um, that it it had me it it was scary for me. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And so, in in that aspect, you know, what was that? Why are you? What's with? 
Wait, what? Why is my camera shaking? Why am I I'm like, no, no, no. I, I don't, what? I'm not pressing anything. Why is it doing this? What is, what's your game doing, dude? What's your game doing? Why? No, stop, stop. I don't like that. What the heck? Oh, what? It's not stopping. No. Oh no. Go away. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't need. I don't think I need to try it again. Um. <laughs> well, okay. I'll try it one more time because I want to finish what I was saying. Um. So when I was playing Mind's Eyes, I had such an apprehension of. Uh, you know, I was I was afraid of being startled. You know, something could jump out at me at any moment, and that it actually it, it was really stressful more than anything. Um, not not so much scary as just stressful. And uh, I don't know, it's just just different. But I prefer the games that have just like a real real creepy atmosphere. Where you're really not sure what's going to happen, it kind of gives you that apprehension, uh, without actually relying on uh, a bunch of jump scares. The, the thing is, though, if you go into a game, let's say, let's say you read a review or, or somebody, well, don't, don't, don't touch the weird floating images, <laughs> the, bad, the badly cut JPEGs or PNGs, I guess. Um, if someone, you know, tells you, say, hey, you know. This is just a creepy, creepy atmosphere. There are there are no jump scares, and obviously, you know, it's it's something you can someone you could trust, and you know there's not going to be any jump scares. Then that, that you know, it's, then it's just that apprehension is kind of gone. Um, but if you don't know, and you're like, oh, there could be something could jump out at me at any moment, then it makes it extra creepy. All right, let's try not to. <laughs> I guess I could turn my volume up a tiny bit. Okay, so let's. Oh, is it chasing me? Oh, it's it's okay. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know there's so many of them. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Stop. 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 Quit. Let's just quit. <laughs> okay, so if you want your ears to bleed, you can download this on Game Jolt, and um. I'm not responsible for any, uh, anything, ever. Goodbye.